Dan and Wendy. Thank you for bringing such a fun-loving, tail-shaking man into my world. To kick off tonight's event, we're going to introduce to you the wedding party. I'm so happy to finally call you my husband. And now that the speeches are done, we can get down to business, or should I say, get to the business of getting down. me in the water and he was like, hey, I'm Leanna's brother. And I was like, who's Leanna? And she goes, oh, she's friends with Brittany, your cousin. She goes, okay. Slowly he got the courage after I nudged and nudged and nudged to, to get my number from Brad because he wasn't picking up on my flirting whatsoever. And she'll, yeah, I'll, yeah, for sure. You'll admit to that? Yeah, I'll admit to that. I picked her up from her parents' house and I drove her to Grand Bend where we had, we had fish at Purdy's. <laughs> they only took cash, which Luke didn't have any, so I had to pay on our first date. <laughs> she had to pay for the meal. Which I will not let him live down. Um, but yeah, ever since then. Oh, can it be that you're here with me? Let's start writing our own history let's take this road oh this winding winding road let's just take the long way home luke and i met in our ninth grade english class we'd hang out on the weekends running around Dan and Wendy's property, occasionally with wooden swords and shields, pretending to be characters from Lord of the Rings. And now it probably makes sense why we had to go outside of Middlesex County to find our spouses. <laughs> Who would have thought that two nerds running around with wooden swords and shields would end up brother-in-laws? And we married them, Allie. Just keep going around, going around. We love you and are very proud of you. This has been an incredible day, and we watch Allie marry the love of your life and best friend. You are everything I didn't realize I needed. My best decision, bravest adventure, and safest place. I vow to always let you lead when dancing and to love you boldly without condition. I love you 3000. All I wanted to say is, oh shit. <laughs> Luke's grandfather, John, oh God. <laughs> John Carlisle Cornish, better known as Jake, 
would be so happy that Luke is bringing a Dutch girl into the Cornish clan. Nothing but sunshine, sunshine and happiness are all that's around us now. And I haven't felt, oh, I haven't felt, mm, haven't felt like this for a long, long time. Ali. You are a superhero, and you have truly rescued me. You have changed me in ways I never thought possible. When writing these vows, I realize nothing that I say about you can do you justice. I lack the vocabulary to articulate the way I feel about you. Jack Nicholson said in As Good As It Gets, you make me want to be a better man. And with you, Allison Lee Lumen, I simply am one. By the authority given to me by the province of Ontario, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Can you kiss your bride? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor and privilege to present to you Mr. and Mrs. Lou Cornish. Out of the tree of life, I just picked me a plum. You came along and everything started to hum. Still, it's a real good bet that the best is yet to come. We love you. Remember our pact that when we hit 80, we go, we go out, get some hard drugs, and go out with a bang. <laughs> First time I heard that line. It's good. <laughs>